what we can to bring the gospel into Masailand as we do what we can to put up simple buildings that might look like shacks but gets them out of the weather. Uh, if you want to be a part of uh, having girls and boys be free from exploitation because boys would be abused if, if they if they did not take care of a, uh, a herd of cattle and lions were coming from one area but yet uh, if they were coming from a different a different direction different you cannot save the cows because you're not there but yet then they would be beaten or killed huh yeah they were beaten some will be beaten some will be uh, will uh, face uh, ex execution from the family mm -hmm. get, you get out of the family yeah. yeah any like my dad myself my dad when one day the cows were attacked and he told me you are, you cannot be a man when you cannot protect my property i believe you i trusted you with 300 cows to go in the bush you can make me poor in a day so how Wow. Young boy of 16, 12 years, 14. He did good. They, that is a torture to send him with a whole lot of cows, 300, and you have to protect them from any other. So if if uh, if those watching in Africa, they in the, some west uh, in East Africa, in Uganda, in South Sudan, in other countries like uh, Malawi, where there is cows racing they come there they kill children why men can stay at home and drink uh, liquor and do other things but the boys were left in the bush mm. wow so they, when they the attacker comes they attack the children ladies and gentlemen i've been with him like i shared in the bush in the jungles and uh, people still you know maasai still the ladies that go down to the, the river to wash their clothes, they still get killed by crocodiles. Uh, there are still hyenas and leopards, some areas, again, to get attacked by lions. Uh, this is the Maasai tribe. If you want to be a part of helping to revolutionize, extend revival among a people that can change a nation, please consider giving your very best mission love offering, 360629 Five two four eight designated for the Maasai revival because we're setting up an account for, for Francis the Maasai revival and also Francis you were telling me about you know in one of these tremendous conventions yeah. where they build it 10 to 20 thousand under a mm -hmm. tent mm -hmm. and yet when the convention was over under a person's tent yes was a cobra was in the, uh, a, a python python big one a big one yes and for the four for four days, people have been sleeping on top. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that uh -huh. goes to show you if you're not alert and vigilant, the enemy can be right close to you to kill you. They were sleeping on top of a giant python. Grabs you, circles, you know, strangles you, crushes you, swallows you. <laughs> uh, it's a great illustration how the enemy tries to kill us. And we're talking about spiritually. Evil spirits, Satan. Three six zero six two nine five two four eight. Three six zero six two nine five two four eight. Again, send your very best mission love offering to extend revival in the Maasai Nation. Three six zero six two nine five two four eight. Designated Maasai revival. We'll help to spread it throughout Africa. God bless you. Man, so Amen. I guess you get to go. He's on the far left one. That's okay. Yeah. Far left, far left, far left. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I got you. Did, did you like that? Yeah. Yes. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's exciting to me. Amen. Uh, of a tribe that for Beautiful. thousands of years antagonistic, and now there's a tremendous revival. Amen. And that's what we're talking about in the last days. Amen? Amen. About yes. Revival sweeping every tribe, every territory, Amen. every nation. So this is, this is good stuff. Yes. That uh, first time where we're, uh, you saw in midnight, and then I was there three days, so midnight the first time, and then a couple of days we were in the sunshine. But they had me in the sunshine. I got just about sunstroke. I was sick of feeling. But... Uh, Peggy was there too. Peggy was a part of our team for many, many years. Traveled different countries with me. 
So uh, she was she was there at the very first uh, when we just you know when it just started where and we put up the first church. So. Mm-hmm. The Lord is good to Lori. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's let's just uh, give a welcome to yeah. Francis. Francis, there's a mic. Can you clip it on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll do this. Oh, no. (laughs) I can put it right there. Thank you. Yes. How's that? Well, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you. And the Lord is doing tremendous things in Kenya and in Africa and in the U.S. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Pastor Francis Ole Koriata. It's me who did that. Um, I'm the last Maasai uh, uh, film writer. And I've been a pastor for the last 21 years. Awesome. I thank God I'm the first man in this village to become a pastor. I went through barrels, and today I want to speak of a message, change your barrels. From today, change your barrel. Maybe uh, today if we go to these uh, nations, and to go to uh, a nation like the U.S., if you interview every five people or ten, and tell them how many battles have they been fighting for the last 20 years, 40 years, 60 years, 70 years. They will tell you a story. Finances, marriages, children, drugs, many other things. But there will be coming a day that if you change your battle, then your battle will be over. Change the direction, and things will be coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, one day I was fighting, when I, when I changed my barrel, Tell what in the village. Is. Yes. Uh-huh. Tell them what a barrel is. A battle, fight. A battle. Yes, yeah. battle, fight. Change your fight, change your direction. Is that okay now? <laughs> Sometimes English. I got this, uh, this, um, this language is from God. I didn't go to school. One. I, uh, when I went to my Bible college, I had a Maasai Bible. This one. This is a Maasai Bible of which I carry always in, uh, in everywhere I go because this is the one I understand. And the Holy Spirit gave me the language. This English that I speak today is from the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I went to a, a small ministry college at the Kenya Assemblies of God at that time in nine, eight, 1999, then I had my pastor telling us about the Holy Spirit. I take 600 kilometers way and back to take a single course from Masai Mara to Nairobi, 300 miles, 300 miles back. And I thank God, this day I encountered the Lord in 2002. And I got the language from heaven, Holy Spirit gave me English. Because my pastor said, you need to be filled by the Holy Spirit. Nobody knew. Nobody knew about that. When I went to uh, God and tell him, uh, and, and I went to Father, change, change my heart, change my spirit. Lord, now I want to read the Maasai people. And he told me, son, you are not going to read the Maasai people. I'm going to send you a nation. And I say, why? How? Hey, how can you send me? I'm just a boy. I'm just from the village. I'm just, my father executed me. I'm just one from my mother's womb. How can you change me? Out of my 40 children of my father, you selected me. And I said, Lord, when you visited me in that small house, changed my mind. 
from a villager to a man of God. Amen. From just another warrior to be a man of God. I changed my life and that is the day that I encountered with God for about 30 minutes in the room at 5 5 in the night 5 in the morning when we went like worshipping there's uh, what we call uh, morning devotion when I went to the morning devotion and I knew that my pastor said you will be speaking today in English service in a city and he didn't know that I don't know English <laughs> for 15 minutes and I told God God give me a language for 15 minutes 15 I need only 15 minutes he gave me he was faithful he gave me for 17 minutes yeah for the first time 15 minutes I couldn't even yeah uh, in 1992, I was a victim of the tribal crisis which broke in Kenya. I was in after class, uh, class 5, 6, and I finished uh, small uh, primary school. The war broke. We didn't have teachers. We didn't have schools. So we have to go across to other villages. Then I was a victim. I went back home. I didn't go to high school. So... 2007 is another time that God spoke to my life again. In 2007, I know the month, the year, I met mom 2006. She met me 2006. I met papa 2007 when there was a fight in Kenya. And I thank God they've been faithful missionaries that came to the villages and still in all my life, I pray to the nation that rescue the lost. You are one. I didn't imagine when I was like, I love this country because they fight, pe they fight the rights of the people. They are the only country. When we come from the, the tourism attraction areas and you just say, when people, when you just come and say, you are from the US, you are from America, every driver wants to drive you. Even if you don't know nothing about the U.S., he wants to drive you. You go to any country, the door is open. You go to any, any village, there is a hand of a missionary. There is a hand of a U.S. person. They, they know. They speak about you. You are there to make a difference. Amen. You are not here just to sit. Amen. The, the foundation of this country has already been laid. You just need to wake up. You just need to send your voice. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So there are three things to change the battle. I just want to quickly speak. Three things when you want to change your battle. And we speak by the word. I don't know if you put up, uh, but the scriptures, yes. Yes, thank you very much. We do, uh, the first thing that can change us when you change the barrel, there are three important keys. One is a vision. When your barrel, when you want to change your vision, you, you, your barrel, your fight, first make a vision. Habakkuk 2 1. Oh, I was just reading that earlier. Today. Yes, in Habakkuk 2. Yeah. Just 2 1 or 2 1 to 5? Yeah, 2 1 to 3. Uh -huh. <coughs> there are things these are the three things that it will never fail any person when you change the direction the bible say I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved reproved and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, and I make it plain up upon tab tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointment time, but at the end it shall speak, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. 
it will not carry. Amen. Write your vision. This is the first thing when you want to fight and you go to the end of the fight. <coughs> Second is love. Amen. Love. You need to have love. Yes. When you are battle, when you want to win a battle, another highlighting, love. And love has three houses. One, love has a sister, love has a brother, and love has a father. The sister of love is hope. The brother is faith. <laughs> and the father of love is God. John 3, 16. So you need to have all the three. Let's read in 1 Corinthians. Yeah, 1 Corinthians. We just are. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 12 and 13. Uh, 12 and 13. <coughs> the Bible says, I will, we just say the brothers. Uh -huh, the brothers of love. Here. For now, we see in mirror. When you see love, you see in mirror. The love we have here on earth is just a mirror. It's just what you can weigh yourself. Somebody loves me because he gave me an offering. Somebody loved me because he gave me a child. Somebody loved me because he gave me something else. Somebody loved me because he did this to me. The country loves me because you protect me. But by the end, there is a love that we need to have there. By the end of it, there will be one which will be accountable in heaven. But then shall I just as I also I am known. And now abided faith, one, hope, and love. These three, but the greatest of them is love. So love is the... The mother, the, or the big thing, the sister, and <laughs> maybe the other one. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the whole father is this. Yes, that John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes shall be saved. Amen. 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 When you want to change your battle, that's another thing that we want. <coughs> Work. <laughs> that is the last one. Work. Hmm? Yeah. First Corinthians. Yeah. Work. Work. Yes. Uh huh. Work. First uh, Corinthians nine nine. The Bible says, "Then what do you work on? In every company." Whatever we work, it should help somebody. And I always say, when I preach in Africa, if my words will not change my enemy, will not trouble my enemy, then that's not a preaching. That's just a lifestyle. <laughs> I must speak a word that changes my enemy, put my friends in shape, and back up by any other person. And no one will speak. I just yeah. post in my wall a word that a thousand or two thousand people follow and no one will utter a word because of this one that my words will touch my enemy. And I have Come to prove on. it. Come on. Whether I'm there or not, I must change my enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whether you have a backing or not, let your words change your enemy. Let your words affect even to the those who are not ready to be changed. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Nine nine. Uh -huh. For it is written. Ah, nine nine. For a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that says the work that we do. It's a second Corinthians, maybe. Yeah, that says the work we do. The only work we do is not only helping those. Yeah. Second Corinthians? There you go. Okay. Work. Okay, fine. We go to the next one. Philippians 1. Uh -huh. We will get that. Philippians 1, 12. 
when we are changing the bottles. Paul, when he was here, Philippians, my prayer today, but I want to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the fathers of the gospel. Whatever you do, whatever you have worked, whatever successful, people are changing people into the wrong direction because of their successes, because of their way of life, because of what they believe. Who thought that somebody was a demon, was demon possessed and want to change people into that demonic way? Yeah. Got people who want to do that, who want to do that, they want to go there this way, they want to change way of God's uh, ordained way of of uh, marriage or of sex or of anything. They want to change it. But guess what? There is a way that God ordained it. Amen. But it's all let you work. Let the work that we do live in, which uh, go down a little brother. If, yes. Wow. Uh, yeah. I want us to go to 12, 13, 13 and we go. <laughs> Touch one life. Amen. So you go to the Corinthians. If it then that the whole place God and all the rest that may that my chains are in Christ. Let your chains be in Christ Jesus. Anything can be broken on earth. Any Amen. agreement Amen. can go astray. Any you you maybe have written any agreement, anything, may may utter other things. People may violate the agreement. But guess what? Let another one, hidden chain, be in Christ. Yes. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to do this one. Let's read uh, uh, Philippians 3, 7 and 13. 3, 7 and 13. 3, 7 to 13. This is a prayer. We want all to follow and God will bless us all together. Amen. Mm -hmm. What book did you want? Oh, no. Just the same. Philippians, Philippians 3, yeah. We go all together as a prayer okay. so that as we, uh, we are going to finish that. Mm -hmm. Let's all speak to that. But the things were gained to me, this I have counted loss for Christ. Yet indeed I all also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but which through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may also know him and the power of the resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conform to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a great one. And the last in this says this. Amen. I want to do this. This one is so powerful. When we go to this one, yeah, just like that. 17, 13. I have, yes. Yes, let's go. 12. Yeah. Not that I have already attained or I am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold for me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting that those things which are reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Many things have already happened in our lives, happened in our relationship, happened in our countries, happened in our life, in any other situation, surrounded to us, in our ministries. We are fighting battles which are, they will never end. 
Others will not end up on this earth or on this flesh. But I know one thing. There is something laid ahead for us. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Paul was saying to his life, to his brethren, to the church of Philippians. For he said, he was saying one day, he said one thing, which is, I love it very much. Uh, in, in, uh, let's read in Philippians 4, I think, if I can get it. The Bible says that in Philippians 4, let's read this. Wow. wow. What, what yeah, Philippians 4, te, 10. Mm -hmm. 10, and we read 10 to 15 as a prayer. Yep. You. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we read as a prayer. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now, at last, your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lack opportunity. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be a best. I know how to be abound everywhere and in all things I've learned both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer in need I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me nevertheless you have done well that you shared in my distress now you Philippians, now, okay, now you America, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Masailan, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in the Salonique, in other nations and continents, receive, okay. You sent aid once again for my necessity. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Indeed, I have all and abound and full, having received from Ephaphoretus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing God, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless you. Amen. And this is what God is doing in nations. Somebody somewhere is appreciating what you have done. Maybe somebody in the street. Maybe somebody in your car. Maybe somebody in your nation, maybe somebody somewhere is praying for you this prayer. Mm -hmm. Not for me, but for whoever God has brought to your life. Mm -hmm. To touch him, to do something. God is there to account. Amen. And thank you. Amen. God bless you. Uh, and uh, thank you for, we have the CDs here. And God bless you. Thank you.